Good morning everyone, my name is Kathleen and Amy Nalg and welcome to my final video for Capstone Design 9, Reshaping Architecture in a Changing Environment. The proposal is Pasoa Bariatric Center for Weight Management and Metabolic Surgery, a proposed hospital-based weight management center through biophilic architecture. The Philippines is not only facing a ballooning population, but also its people. According to the recent reports of the National Nutrition Survey, there has been a rapid increase of 13.40% prevalence of obesity just from 2017 to 2018. This is a year in comparison to almost two decades of only 3% increase from 1988 to 2017. Overweight and obesity has many causes, and the illness itself affects multiple people and organs. This is why an innovative and industry-leading metabolic weight loss center that helps Filipinos achieve their weight loss goals using lifestyle changes and the most modern and safe technique in bariatric surgery is needed. This was the resounding clamor of the multisectoral groups pushing for a better understanding of obesity which is believed to have major impacts and strains on the Philippine healthcare system due to its link to non-communicable diseases such as heart attack, diabetes, stroke, and cancer. The client is the Philippine Association for the Study of Overweight and Obesity, a local organization that focuses on the study of overweight and obesity in the Philippines with a mission to pioneer in the prevention and control of obesity and its complications through education, research, and advocacy, as a vision is an obesity risk free Philippines. According to the IS Global study, there are much more overweight and obese people in urban areas than rural areas due to the urban factors that influence overweight and obesity. This includes air pollution, noise, natural space, unhealthy environment social environment and built-in environment. This was proven by the 2019 survey conducted by FNRI that stated overweight and obesity is top nutrition concern in eight metro Manila cities, including the proposed site in Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. The site is within the urban core zone in accordance to the land use and zoning of Taguig City, situated within Fort Bonifacio, Taguig City. It has a total area of 15,756 square meters, or equivalent approximately to 1.6 hectares nearby BGC bus terminal, market market, residential condominiums, commercial establishments, and streets that allows privately owned vehicles to enter. The facilities building will provide by Morocco and the Manila Water Company Incorporation and telecommunication and cellular services will be held by PLTD. The visibility of the site has an existing entry road in McKinley Parkway, which is connected to the Claro Emrecto Highway, 10th Avenue, and 9th Avenue with another entry road from 25th Street. The site is nearby BGC Art Center, SSS, PhilHealth, Pagibig Offices, SMAUDA Premier, and St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City. Demand Analysis Due to societal belief where physical appearance is given more value, obesity has become a curse. Obese people are constantly shamed and blamed for this disease that caused them to avoid seeking professional help. This is because many people, including health advocates, policymakers, and of course laymen, do not understand that obesity is indeed a chronic disease. A trend in the prevalence of overweight and obesity among adults 20 years and above from 1993 to 2018 has proven that obesity, like malnutrition, is now a national health concern and it is projected that by 2027, over 520 million, 183,737 Filipinos are overweight and 119 million, 340,089 Filipinos will be obese. User Analysis According to Dr. Emal de Angeles Adap, scientist second officer in charge, Office of the Deputy Director and Chief Science Research Specialist in the Department of Science and Technology, Food and Nutrition Research Institute, 
the prevalence of overweight and obese is observed to be higher than the national estimate across all population groups in eight highly urbanized cities in the national capital region, such as San Juan, Mandaluyong, Manila, Makati, Taguig, Kazan City, Caloocan, and Las Piñas. The prevalence of overweight and obese at the national level was 4.0% amongst preschool children, 0 to 59 months old, based on the child growth standards weight for height in San Juan, Mandaluyong, Manila, Makati, Taguig, and Kazan City, were significantly higher than the national estimate. Las Piñas and Caloocan also had prevalence rates higher than the national estimate, but not significantly different. Among the school age children, 5 to 10 years old, the prevalence of overweight and obese at the national level more than doubled among preschool children at 11.6%, or about 1 in every 10 school age children, based on the World Health Organization Growth Reference Body Mass Index for age. The prevalence is even more glaring looking at each of the eight high HUC is in NCR and over significantly higher than national estimate except Kalaokan. Noteworthy is that 1% in every four school age children can be found in cities of Mandaluyong and Makati. Also based on BMI for age, about one in every five adolescents in Makati, Mandaluyong, Manila, San Juan, Caloocan, and Las Piñas were overweight, and these were significantly higher than national prevalence of one in every ten. At a national level, 28.8% are overweight and 9.6% 9, 9 are obese among adults 20 to 59 years old, based on BMI. All the eight cities in Metro Manila had prevalence of more than 30% prevalence of overweight and 10% obese adults from ENNS year one result. And among elderly, 60 years old and above, the prevalence of overweight was 24.7% and obese is 6.3% at the national level. San Juan, Kazan City, Mandaluyong, Manila, and Taguig and had more than 30% prevalence of overweight among elderly, while Caloocan, Makati, and Las Piñas have 29.9%, 29.1%, and 28.7% prevalence, respectively. The point estimates for the prevalence of obese elderly in the eight cities in NCR range from 7.1% to 14%, which are all higher than national estimates. These are the organizational charts of the proposed bariatric center for weight management and metabolic center. Basic organizational structure under office of the medical center of chief medical services. The nursing services and hospital operations patient support services. Office of the medical center chief finance services, sales and marketing division, and human resources. Initial design trans translation. Wellness architecture through biophilic design is the practice of designing an art and science built environment with socially conscious system and materials to promote a harmonious balance between physical, emotional, cognitive, and spiritual well being while regenerating natural environment with an approach that seeks to correct building occupants more closely to nature. It is incorporate natural lighting and ventilation, natural landscape features, and other elements for creating a more productive and healthier built environment for people. According to architect Jerry Young of Singapore, good hospital design lowers the blood pressure of every patient once they step in. It was mapped by the design through added earth and water features that promotes holistic and psychological approach in healing through its built-in environment. Form concept, yin-yang. The design form concept of this project refers to the yin-yang of life and the human body. Hospital designs are usually like mechanic shop. People go there to fix something from their body. Thus, hospital designs are focused on the yin of human well-being, hence the illnesses. In the project, the yang or the prevention and healthy lifestyle in nature is as equally important as the yin, not only for its aesthetics 
and appeal to the eyes, but because of its healing properties, true psychology of architecture of wall building. Regardless of gender, yin and yang are both present in human body as well, and their strength balances and wanes with the time and yin and yang are interdependent. The relationship is also sometimes described as rooted to each other, which is prevention and cure, medicine and illness. In other words, you need yin to have yang and yang to have yin. Solar power windows. Solar is conversion of energy from sunlight into electricity. We also use low emitting glass. Double glazing offers good sound dampening qualities, but more important are its thermal advantages. Hospital Urban Farming The urban farm is an attempt to integrate nature and healthy living to the lifestyle of the patients. This not only helps with the cost of healthy foods in the hospital, cafeteria, but shall be a health activity for inpatients, outpatients, and visitors as well. Bariatric ambulances, surgery rooms, and laboratories that is designed to cater the needs of space and equipment for overweight to morbidly obese people. Also, it has a BMI chart wall, inspired by architect Jerry Ong's design in Kotek Wat General Hospital in Singapore. It is a wall mural BMI chart that allows any passerby to check their health risk. This is my general bubble diagram of the site. The initial site developmental plan has a major road that acts as the major access along McKinley Parkway. This road is directly adjacent to the ambulance parking, common parking, delivery parking, and staff parking lots. The initial massing of the pros bed is consists of different adjacent buildings depending on the function and facilities it requires. These are the follows. Emergency Department, Hospital Management Department, Administration Department, Primary Healthcare Department, Central Sterile Supplies Department, Surgery and Operating Department, Isolation Facility, Mortuary, Intensive Care Unit, Delivery Department, Nursery Department, Dietary Department, Cafeteria, Staff Housing Department, Outpatients and Clinics, Rehabilitation and Training Department, Maintenance Department, Last Lease, Inpatient Wards, Radiology Department, Laboratory Department, and Pharmacy. The design constraints of the proposal in the hospital is designed to reduce negative impact of healthcare to a range of biophilic design strategies. These range from designing environmentally sustainable buildings and ecologically sound transport systems to procuring ethically sold foodstuff. The hospital is intended to alleviate, if not exterminate, social and emotional effects of obesity, including discrimination lower wages, lower quality of life, and likely susceptible to depression. The hospital is intended to reduce the budget of the Philippine Department of Health that is intended for non-communicable diseases due to overweight and obesity. Design consideration, high statics. The building is designed in a manner that helps alleviate the stress and anxiety of the patients. It aims to reduce high pressure using psychological intervention of beauty and nature. Comfort, to provide ease and accessibility and circulation towards bigger people. Privacy, to control of the circulation between private and public area. Safety and security, protection from harm and danger. Sustainability, to minimize the negative impacts of the building to the environment. Lastly, building laws. Implementation of various laws, regulation, codes to address specific functions. Project cost analysis is based on 17 lines formula. The building cost is 885,487,200 pesos. The equipment cost is 15% of the building cost, which is 132,823,080 pesos. Premium cost is 3% of the building cost, which is 26,564,616 pesos. The contingency is 3%. 3,000,000 pesos. 
984,692 pesos and 40 cents. The construction cost, sum of line 1 to 4, is 1,048,859,582 pesos and 48 cents. Escalation cost is 5% of 9.5, which is 52,442,979 pesos. Total construction cost, line 1 to 6, is 2,150,162,100 156 pesos. The professional fees is 10%, which is 88,548,720 pesos. Set acquisition cost is zero, because this is lot area land market value per square meter. Land development and site improvement is 214,015,225 and 220 pesos. Fixed equipment cost, including outside utilities, is 8% of line 10, which is 17,121,218 pesos. Miscellaneous and contingencies. Contingency is 10% of line 1, which is 88,548,720 pesos. Miscellaneous fees is 5% of line 1, which is 44,274,360 pesos. Total capital, in, total capital in other costs is line 8 to 13, which is 452,508,238 pesos. Project cost sum of 7 to line 14 is 2 billion 602 million 670,394 pesos. Owners contingencies 5% of line 1, which is 44,274,360 pesos. The total project development cost sums of line 15 to 16 is 2,646,000, 2,646,000,000. 944,754 pesos. Thank you so much for watching my video and God bless.